Hello everyone, today we are opening Prophecy. I'm going to show you how easy it is to weigh packs and why you shouldn't buy loose packs out there. Let's do this. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Alright, we're recording now. I got my chart up. We're about to weigh things as we go. Let's turn on our scale. Knife. Uh, let's attack it from this side. I want to try to like remove it because I have a fun idea in the future of um, if I make like a repack product or something, I want to use this shrink to seal it. I think that would be pretty funny. So I want to make it neat. I mean, when I'm talking a repack product, it would probably be something small like this, you know, half of it where I could actually do the shrink on it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I think that would be funny anyway. So here we go. Prophecy box. I don't know if there is, is any information in this box, Stefan. So we're going to dig out the rows because we're doing this in order. This is first row. Let's uh, put that to the side like that and then move this over here or over there where it's out of the way, but I can see. No, I can't see everything. Let's put it. Sorry, I'm figuring this out as I go here a little bit. <laughs> I tried to repair, but you know, the first shots, uh, the, fir the best laid plans only last until the first shots, right? Something like that. Uh, how many foil rares to a box? It's going to be one, but you do have a chance at two based on, you know, odds. All right, here we go, Stefan. Good luck. Pack number one. Your weight is uh, 2753. You guys have a better view than me. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to weigh... The first few packs, I kind of want to get an average before I start calling it. Pack number two, 2748. All right. I'm going to do it like this, upside down. Two, and you have four. Pack number three, 2782. There's your first major deviation. Okay, and the final one, 2764. So based on these numbers, I would assume that pack three is going to have your foil. That's this one right here. Okay, let's open up packs one, two, and four. See if you got a Ristic. All right, good luck, Stefan. Uh, let's turn up the light a little. Abolished, Barb Field, Man of Vapors, Avatar of Will, Ristic Lightning, Plague Fiend. All right, the wrong Ristic, bro. Ristic Circle. Pack one, pack two. All right, I need to be speaking into the microphone a bit more. Sorry about that. Ooh, these are sealed good. I'm trying to open them neatly for you without, you know, ripping them to shreds. I know generally speaking, people like to have their wrappers afterwards. Okay, and your rare, Winter Moon Mesa, all right, comes into play, tap, add one colorless mana to your mana pool, two, and tap, sacrifice the Mesa, tap two target lands. Oh, interesting, so it's more of a shutdown of someone else than a help you type of card. Fun times. All right, pack number three. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to record the weight and remove it so that's not part of the average. 
because that's outside of the average. We're looking for the average and the average D. Oh, Ristic study number one. Congrats. And that is pack four. I'm not going to record those. Yay. Congratulations. And of course, there isn't another one, but you know, just had to look through the rest. I had to, guys. Okay, so now here's the one we are predicting has a foil. Good luck. Oh, right on top. So there it is. There's your foil, Uncommon, Hollow Warrior, Prophecy. So right away, already. So let's, ooh, nice. All right, so I called that one, right? Citadel of Pain, yes. They're the best, man. You're going to go see Citadel of Pain today. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. Oh, nice. Or it used to be Spore Frog. Oh, Ristic number two. Congratulations, Stefan. Damn. Damn. Bro. 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 You need to, like chillax with that action this dude just freaking pulled two wristics you guys in the chat chat keep track of how many wristics we pull okay uh, this guy's gonna get all the top loaders wow two wristics congratulations Stefan. Yeah, guys, sorry. You can get used top loaders because uh, I was looking before this and I couldn't find any new ones. So, sorry. But, I mean, that was a pretty decent hit, Stefan. Congratulations, man. Let's put these inside of the pack with all the cards. I know. Stefan d definitely got, like, uh, you know, a third of the luck <laughs> of the box in four packs okay foil number one i'm gonna remove that from the chart and record the weight so look this isn't to like demonstrate how to this is a this is a psa this is a psa saying don't buy loose okay Like, buying on eBay is a bad idea because of this, okay? Okay, that's, that's what this is about here. Next is Kylan with three, okay? One, two, three. First one, let's weigh you. 27.45. 27.45. Number two is 27.60. Okay. And number three, 27.62. I do not believe you have any foils Kylan, I'm sorry to say. Well, let's open him up and find out. Hey, the crazy Matt, how you been? It's been a while. Uh, one more red nightmare here too. Talk about lucky. <laughs> yeah, one more red nightmare. Opened like four of my repacks and got two of the big hits. Some craziness like that. And for the rare searing. Oh, Ridgeline Rager down at the Citadel of Pain. <laughs> or is it the Citadel of Pain is playing at the Ridgeline Rager? Which is it? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me, guys. 
Yes, hit the like. Thank you. Pack number one is unfortunately a dud, Kylan. Sorry. We can't all be Stefan. All right. Yeah, this is a fun open. Old school stuff like this. Okay, so this one was 2760. Sometimes I think at the high end of the <laughs> Citadel pain, uh, the high end of average, it can be a foil, but it rarely turns out to be. Honestly, it's, it seems to be pretty straightforward, right? Like that uh, 2782 stood out. You got the foil, Kylan, but not a foil foil. Let's see the foil. Well, there's no foil foil. Sorry. At least you got your foil. All right. Let's see what we got here. And Shrouded Serpent. Come on. Ah, oh, you got the wrong wrist thickness. Wrist thickness. Look at, look at Alexi. Like... Dude rolls around with a teal skull cap, like a purple, a fuchsia cloak, <laughs> a, a chartreuse bodysuit, and skull cap. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, so far we have uh, called it. There were no foils there. I'm sorry, Kylan. Those were three rough packs, man. But he knows what it is. Dude opens packs all the freaking time. He has had some crazy luck lately, actually. Hitting, um, like, getting lucky on some uh, pull game that somebody has. He's also drawn some, uh, what are they called, freaking... Serialized cards, uh, you know, I can't think right now because I'm busy with this. All right, so Paul, one, two, three, four, five, and next row from the middle, six. Okay, pack number one, 2759. Pack number two, twenty seven sixty. Pack number three, twenty seven fifty four. Pack number four. Uh, Pack number four, 2798. That seems heavy. Hey, Cold Paw, how you doing? Pack number five, 2753. And pack number six. 2764. I mean, this is about the average. One every six packs. So let's see what we got. Yeah, look at that uh, over here. You have all these low numbers, right? Point, minus 0 0.7, minus 0 0.12, 0 0.4, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.6. Then you have a plus 38. That's the deviation for that one. So that looks like the foil. Let's weigh. The first who, well, wait, let's open the packs now. I'm sorry, Kylan. Yeah, that sucks. Three packs of straight Shapoopy. That's the thing about prophecy. It's like hit a foil, hit a Ristic, or I am sorry. All right. Infernal Genesis. Like, check out this art. It's like a, a cat like a lion or a tiger turning into like a tiger person and a bear turning into like a werebear. Excise. Let's see that Ristic study guys. Oh no. Sorry, Paul. Pack number one is a dud. Okay. 
pack too. Cold Paw, dude from the north. Him and, and Brody and Doc Lab all live in the land of the the frozen world. <laughs> they live in the ice age. <laughs> well of life. Squirrel Wrangler. Look at this guy. He's like, I command you to go, my brethren. Yes, I am the Squirrel Wrangler. Hey, Twiddler, how you doing? That is the wrong Ristic. Ristic Lightning. We don't want to see that. We want to see a Ristic study. Stefan is like walking around, bobbing his head. People are like, oh, what you listening to, man? Some good music? He's like, nah, just dual brain. <laughs> Uh, you know we love you, Stefan. <laughs> uh, the shield dancer at some freaking kick. Veteran brawlers. Death awaits them on both fronts. So right. Ristic Deluge again. Wrong Ristickness. Ay ay ay. That is three duds, Paul. No Ristic, no foil. At least he got one hit. Ice Age for life. <laughs> the dual brain music group. Uh, all right. Oh, look, a quote from Tefiri. There are secrets out there begging to be rediscovered. We just need to look in the right places. Yes. So saith Tafiri. Alright. And dual nature, yes, dual nature. <laughs> Ridge line rager, rager, rager. Oh, there it is. Paul's first study. Very nice. Study buddies with Stefan. That's right. We started uh, in, in Vegas. We started calling the study buddies when we we're opening Ristic Study. <laughs> the original study buddies was me, uh, Kylan, and uh, Prime in Vegas. Ooh, that was funny. Stefan was there chilling. <laughs> All right. And the final... Not heavy. The final not heavy. More risticness of the wrong type. Well of discovery. Uh, what is going on at this place? When you have given everything, then you are capable of anything. That's the well inscription. That is some freaking inscription. Ristic Deluge. Oh, oh, see? There are some that deviate. Okay. Congratulations, sir. So now, what is this? This is the final one. 2764. So... The packs range clearly from a low of 0.45 to a high of 0.64 without foils. So that's a 0.2 difference. So if you have a low weight before the foil and then the foils added in, it'll equal to the high end. So there are outliers. There are outliers. Don't get me wrong. It does happen. But you're going to see throughout this opening... That more often than not, like this is the exception, not the rule. You get what I'm saying? So there you go, Paul. Surprise hit. That's three out of six. Three out of six packs. Not bad. Let's finish this just to see. I don't think. Yeah. Just making sure. All right. And now on to the heavy pack, which should have a foil. Here it is. Yeah, so Nathaniel, like I said, there's a range for regular packs. And that'll range from 0.45, 27.45 to 27.64.
if a pack that weighs 27.45 now then has a foil, it's 27.64. You get what I'm saying? Whereas a 27.64 with a 0.2 on top is like 27.8, you know? So here you go. Oh, it's the foil rare. Congratulations, Paul. Fickle a free. There's the rare. Mm, has a couple of factory scratches. Oh, no, no. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's two ever so slight ones. Freaking factory, man. Oh, no. Down this edge. Look at this. Uh, I'll never get that on camera. Okay, maybe. Do you guys see? Over here. There are some. Ah, I'm just going to put it in a top loader. Foil rare. Slightly uh, factory scratches. That sucks, Paul. But at least you got the foil rare. Shoot. So two called, one missed on the foils. This will be interesting to see how many you'll miss. Or how many I will miss. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's count. Let's see if we got a, a study in here. Deluge. Oh, no wonder why it was so heavy. Holy crap. Talk about a lucky pack. Two foils. So if it was 27.98, that means minus around 0.4. That's 27.48 is what it would weigh without the two foils. Two foils in one pack. That's pretty crazy. Congrats, Paul. That's sick. Talk about... Turning from a dud to a freaking winner. Congratulations, bro. I imagine there was three. That would just blow my freaking mind. <laughs> that was a freaking awesome hit. Like, talk about a pack. Pretty sweet. Never seen that before in a regular pack. I've seen it in um, in tournament decks, you know, like starters, but not in a regular pack. That's pretty awesome, Paul. Good luck today. Two foils, one pack. Okay, now we adjust our list here. 27.98. I guess we have to do two X's, which is unheard of, unheard of. Okay. Shadow Cloud up next with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was sweet. I grabbed six. Okay. Here we go. 27.52. I don't think there's anything in there. Wow, that's really light. It's like a way on the low end. 27.48. And what I'm saying is, right, like a pack that would have weighed 27.48, it, it means that 15 cards should weigh around that, right? But the foil has a foil layer that weighs about what we're seeing is about 0.2 to 0.3. So when I say, oh, oh no, I don't want that. When I say it would have weighed that, that means without the foil coatings in there, it would have weighed that. All right, pack number five, 27.54. It's not looking good. Shadow Cloud, but again, one of these could be uh, on the low end before the foil. But I don't think so. It's just not. Whoa, 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 So from what I'm seeing here, I don't see any major deviations. I don't think we have foils. Sorry to say, Shadow Cloud. Shadow Cloud. That's another dude that's been around for quite some time. What up, Visible Frylock? All right, here we go. 
Here we go. And coffin puppets. Look at that. That's nasty. I wouldn't want that sitting on my knee. You know, like a little uh, ventriloquist puppet. Let's find a Ristic for him. Uh, no Ristic study. We only have three. Uh, oh, that's pretty decent. We're almost to halfway. We have three Ristics. Last time I think we saw seven. Some or maybe even nine. Some crazy number of Ristics. Because Prophecy is a small set, you know, so you come across things pretty often. Squirrel Wrangler, like I was saying. Hey, there you go. Number one. Ristic study number one. All right. Alexi and his cloak hanging out. Chartreuse and uh, fuchsia. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. I make myself laugh with the silliest things sometimes. Okay, so that's four now. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna have to ruin that wrapper. Okay. Task Mage Assembly. Assembling the Task Mage power. Alexi is every freaking where. Friggin' Alexi. What's your problem? You and your cloak. Got that fuchsia mojo. Avatar of Hope. Uh, pack art. Yes. Look. Pack art. Pack art. There you go. The Avatar of Hope. Let's see some. You got some hope. Maybe you'll have another Ristic study. You know? I really, really want to see a foil Ristic study one day. Like, pull it out of a pack. You know, like, that's the goal of this. I eventually want to pull one of those and pull uh, a dark ritual from Arcadian Masks foil. And overburden. Let's see. The Kipamu League knew what Keld refused to acknowledge. The land could support no more. Hey, study number two. Nice. See, the Avatar of Hope showed up, and you got a, a study. Very nice, very nice. Yes, yes. Ridgeline Ranger, we play all day. <laughs> Two Ristics. I mean, a Ristic is a good hit. What is that, like 35 bucks? Maybe on the buy list, even 35 bucks. Still, despite the reprint. Which shows you how strong of a card it is. Well of Life. Coffin Puppets. Coffin Puppets. That's definitely another freaking uh, like death metal band. And one of their songs is called Dispoil. What happened to Centerpiece Collectible? Actually, uh, Paul got a job in the industry, and um, it's like a conflict of interest to have a channel, so he can't keep his channel going. But, I mean, it's good. You know, he got kind of like a dream job, right? Overburn is actually a very good card. Have it in Tulane, saith Shadowcloud. DJ. All right, I haven't said it in a while. Hit the like, guys. Hit that like. Give it a smirch. Yes. This is a pretty crazy box so far. Like, Ristics and um, two foils in one pack. Very nice. Very nice. Never seen that before. Ristic count five. I have some Moxin that I need to get great MPSA charges. Huge amounts. Uh, for return shipping. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, Jerry. Um, unfortunately, all the chat, all the all the graders do because it's the it's the insurance on the way back. They don't want to be responsible. And yeah, I I do the same thing. I end up paying a lot. A way to avoid a little bit of uh, paying is by um, going to your your local rep and uh having him ship it you can avoid shipping and stuff by doing that okay our mac is next with six one two three four five yeah definitely good for him matt you know like i i like that he got a job in the industry it's it's what he was trying to do he had an office job during covid he took advantage of you know what was happening with cards and got involved in the industry um as it you know, settled down, so did uh, what he was doing, and so he shifted and took a job in the industry, but not buying and selling actively like that. Like, he can buy and sell, but he can't really have, like, a, you know, a shop like that. You know, so I'm just putting some of this stuff away, guys, now that we have room in the box. All right, Armac, here we go. Pack number one. What is the weight? Okay, that is wrong. It was hanging off. 27.49. Okay. What is this? Idiotic. Hey, Siri, stop. <laughs> done. Yeah, done. See, that's what I'm saying. What is this idiotic computer doing? <laughs> done. Oh, good for you. 27.54. So far, no foils. Uh-oh, looks like we got a foil. 27.70. Let's put that aside. Twenty-seven point five seven. This is a possible because it's on oh. Because it's on the high end of average pack weight, but I'm going to put it with the no. 2745. And your last pack is 2761. Again, on the high end, so it's possible, but doubtful. Okay. Let's open up the likely non-foil packs. Gotcha, thanks. I'm going to call them, but I don't trust PSA or Beckett to help them minimize the cost. We'll see if I can drop off and maybe go to show the grid at. Yeah, that's uh, a better idea of how to get it done cheaper. Don't go to CGC. I don't understand why people are getting things graded. Ooh, this card again. The Winter Moon Mesa. CGC is giving tens out like unbelievably. I don't understand how. You know what? I do understand. People like getting tens. Uh, the market likes to see tens, and people will pay a premium for tens, even if they are not a ten. But just because the label says ten, I just don't think it's a safe investment. I think sooner or later, the market's going to prove that those types of freebie tens aren't going to um, last. You know what I mean? They're going to search for survivors. They're going to eventually come down in price. The, the what's it called? The premiums won't be there eventually for CGC cards. You know, that's what's going to happen. But it's going to take time, you know. You don't kill your reputation right away. It takes everybody a while to realize that, oh, there's a lot of 10s out there. <laughs> I just see it all the time on Facebook, and I'm like, oof, I want nothing to do with that. Sheltering prayers. She's chilling. She's having a good time. She's like, come, smoke with me. <laughs> uh, Alexi, Alexi. <laughs> At the rager with the wrong type of risticness. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, Stone Pony, I know. I'm going to have to shovel too. 
Why would they go to a company that doesn't hand out tens? It's such a short term swamp. Yeah, I know. Like I can see, I wear through this lab. I don't believe it's a pristine time. <laughs> exactly. Take care, Stefan. If we don't see you, if you're on your way out. All right. Lautella. Everything around her suffers. Yo. That's a bad lady right there. Okay, and Alexi, Alexi, <laughs> what's the minimum card value would grade for investment? Um, see, Jerry, that is, I, I grade weird things sometimes. Sometimes I grade things just to seal them up. Um, you know, older cards, if you get a really high grade, like in antiquities, or even revised nowadays, like there's crazy premiums for commons that are tens. Or really high 9.5s. Greel, the mind breaker. Uh, don't hang out with him. You're Lautella's gift to me, and I always play with my presents. You. And, wow. No Ristickness. Sorry, Armag. This is rough. All right. <laughs> Sounds like my ex says Prime. Oh my god. <laughs> Those damn exes. Alright. Okay, so this is your foil pack. Let's see what we got. The Ristic Siphon, Verdant Field, Citadel of Pain, Samite Sanctuary, Thrive. Okay, your foil is a green one. Thresher Beast. All right, I called that one true. Uh, I can do that. Give me a second, coach. And wow, no Ristic Studies. So I'm going to take a regular card, put it into a sleeve like I just did for the foil. Regular Magic the Gathering card in sleeve. 2.27, 2.28. Okay. And now, with foil, 2.50, so about 0.23, 22, 223 more. It's just a, it's a layer on top of the card. It makes sense why it would be more. You know, like it's a laminate layer, I do believe. Like a, a plastic or something. Like a sticker, you know? Like, have you ever tried to peel it off? It's possible. You can peel off foils, which is kind of crazy. See, Doc? I told you there wouldn't be that many uh, foils in this. This was in the original... Yeah, this was... It went Destiny, Legacy. Then there was Masks. Uh... Okay, there was two blocks. Masks, Invasions, Nemesis, uh, Plane Shift. I think Prophecy came before Plane Shift and whatnot. So it's like the fourth or fifth after reserve list sets. Um, they, you know, they increased the foil rate later on. Maybe Torment. But this was before they increased the foil rate. This was when, okay, I'll show you. So there's 15 cards in a pack, right? And the original foil rate was one out of a hundred cards. Hey, Brody, what up? How you doing? Good timing, dude, right before your freaking packs. Premium card. Uh, it's approximately one in 100. It went down to like one in 75 or one in 70. All right, so Brody and Brody. Two packs. Let's weigh his first one. Okay, wait. Let's do this. X 27.7. And delete that. And now we have our average again. 27.55 for this pack. Pack number one, Brody. And pack number two for Brody. Oh, looks like we got a foil. 27.79. Looks like we got a foil. 
Yeah, it did, Brody. Good luck with your foil. N imagine you stop to freaking go to lunch and you watch yourself pull a Ristic Study foil. That would be the sickest thing ever. <laughs> Brody heard prophecy calling to him. <laughs> His half brain speaking. Look at Jolarel. She's got like some sick dogs. She belongs with the Starks, but like in a warm environment, you know? All right, no rustic study. Jolarel's favor. Yeah, we got a lot of Jolarel in that pack. All right, here we go. In this pack, we have a foil for Brody, or we should have a foil for Brody. I don't see why not. Okay. Oh, uncommon right away. Sunken field. There's your foil. Only Ristic. Oh, wow, that was your first ever Ristic study? That's awesome. Alexi. Alexi. <laughs> At the Ridgeline Rager. Uh, and you hit the wrong type of Risticness, but you got a foil. You got a foil. Actually, an uncommon foil. Let's check it out. Oot, right? Let's check it oot for you Canadians. Sunken field. That looks so sick. I love these old school foils. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm having fun opening my prophecy box here for you guys. <laughs> okay, Brody. And then Doc Lab with six. Yeah, so far we're at like five, I think, for Risticness. Five studies, maybe. Doc Lab is like, nah, it's not going to be seven, eight foils. It's going to be 10 or 12, and they're all going to be in my stack. Uh, seven to nine was my prediction, uh, Stefan. Okay, and take this off the average. Here we go. Six packs for Doc Lab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pack number one. 27.54. Nope, not there. Okay, pack number two. 27.39 low end pack number three 27.57 pack number four 27.35 so generally speaking you're supposed to hit three uncommons 27.42 two I'm going to say three commons two uncommons and one rare 27.56 oof doc lab I don't know if you're going to have a foil in here you'll get a squeaker foil one that goes beneath the radar you know what I mean if you get any we'll see Yeah, there aren't. When you talk in, when you when you ask for near mint, you're not getting near mint nowadays with all this old stuff. This is the only way to get near mint of old stuff. Hey, come and join me for a smoke. <laughs> you can tell foils if you weigh them. Is that what's going on? Yes, sir. If you watch later on, the pack will have um, a, a larger standard deviation by about 0.2. Not standard deviation, a deviation from the average of about 0.2. So packs like 27.7, 27.79, 27 27.64, gonna have foils. Packs 27.35, stuff like that will not have foils. Avatar of Will, that is your box. 
art here. Hold on. We got the pack art before. Now we got the box art. Oh, yeah. Yes, Brody. This is a, you know, the reason. Oh, congratulations. The reason I had to open every pack was because I was doing this. If I wasn't doing this, I would have uh, done like normal and left it so that patrons can keep um, half their packs that they buy sealed, you know, to have really uh, fresh packs from a box break. But this, because I'm weighing it, I'm opening it. I'm not trying to do no BS, so that's why we're opening it, you know. Like, if we were weighing it and not open opening it, that's like shady business. I want this to be a... Uh, PSA, as it were. Yeah, Nathaniel is right, um, Brody. There was a pack with two foils. How crazy is that? And that had like 0.9, 27.9 or something like that. Rebel Informer. You bastard. You're the Informer. Who's so? Who's the Rebel Informer here? Is he the Informer and this guy's like, I'm going to kill you, you Informer? Or is he the informer like, yeah, I'm an informer. I'm going to take you out. I don't know. The problem with mercenaries is that if you can buy their loyalty, others can too. So then that means this guy got turned. All right. All right. Ristic study number two. There you go. Doc Lab. Congratulations. Yes, it is, Brody. Tons of Ristics. Ristics left and right. That's that's why we open Prophecy. Alexi, Alexi. <laughs> Do you think Alexi shows up to raves like that? With the chartreuse bodysuit with skull cap and uh, fuchsia cloak. The wall of vipers. Oh boy, that's some wall. Vitalizing wind. Yes. That's what we call a blunt. That's that vitalizing wind, bro. Get that up in ya. <laughs> ribbon snake. I had a ribbon eel once in a saltwater fish tank. Man, I also had a frogfish in there, which is like an angler. It is like the size of a softball. He just gulped that shit up, man. And <laughs> a saltwater tank. I had a peaceful tank going, and my fish guy was like, hey, take this guy, man. He's really cool. He's like, he's great for the tank. Fickle of freet. All right. But, you know, meanwhile, he ends up being a huge murderer, which throws off the balance in the tank, and then the chemical balance goes off. It's such a freaking mess. When one thing goes wrong in a saltwater tank, it is quickly downhill i uh yeah i used to like to grow coral in those tanks but you have an equipment failure for like one day you're screwed but now i mean it's probably easier now because you needed a chiller back in the day because the lighting was um hot jeweled spirit as he knows all the world completely the world refuses him harm yes but, um, yeah, we used to have chillers on the fish tanks because the light to keep the ridge line rager, the light to keep the coral alive it ran very hot and would heat up the water and, you know, they'd cook themselves. All right. So you used to have to have a chiller. But now LEDs are cold light. So, you know, it changes things a little bit, changes things a little bit. Brody. Are you the only freaking guy who's going home without a Ristic? That's ridiculous if you are. All right, Jennifer. What do you got coming up next? Three packs. Final three. All right. Pack number one weighs 27.47. Pack number two weighs 
And your final pack of the day weighs 27.54. Well, let's hope you get a wristic study in these packs because it doesn't look like you have a foil. So the average of this box for the weights of packs that are not foil, excluding the foil weights, is 27.51, okay? I'm gonna take a picture of that. Then I'm gonna add the foil weight uh, packs back in and see what the average for the whole box, what the average pack weight is. And then we'll know and we'll see what uh, deviations look like. All right, Flowering Fields, Pit Raptor, the Mana Vapors, Greel, again, freaking Greel. Where is that Ristic? Let's see one final Ristic study. Uh, rethinking. Rethink. Hell yeah. I want to, I guess I'm going to be opening more prophecy. Like, this is kind of fun, you know? It's not a high risk. <laughs> oh, Kylan, sorry. He didn't get a Ristic either. <laughs> sorry, Kylan. <laughs> He's like, jerk, already forgot about me. He's going to go cry now. <laughs> Avatar of Fury. Uh, sorry, Kylan. Don't cry. <laughs> uh, so, foil count six, six Rista count seven. I'm going to look at my sheet in a minute and record the numbers. Oh, look. This is one of the light prints of the Black Border. See that? Oh, maybe it's the whole pack, Overburden. Anyway, I found a few light prints. You see the difference of what I'm talking about? It's hard to see here. Yeah, one's slightly, like, gray, and the other one's black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the tears won't stop flowing says kylan oof jennifer you end on a dud of three packs so this box had seven ristic studies six foils the average weight of a pack was 27.513 interesting numbers now let me show you the last few numbers that i want to get I'm going to write that down, 27.513. That's the average without foils included. Since you can't do more decimals, the number is 27.51. Now let's put these numbers back in. Seven point six four twenty seven ninety eight. That's the pack with two and twenty seven point eighty two. Okay, so now you can see here. Hmm, that's weird. Point nine. How does that happen? Point oh eight nine. Okay, okay. So this is the number here. It is, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, there. 27.55 is the average with the foils. And let's see, did all of them occur above that? 27.79, 27.7, 27.64, 27.81. But how many packs were higher than 5.5? Five, five? One, two, three, four, five, six, C, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then one on. Yeah, so almost half the packs were at or above the average weight so that's why you have to do it as you go and exclude the foil packs because otherwise it's not going to stand out um it's rare that the foil pack won't stand out as i you know kind of made obvious here these numbers were way outside the standard deviation the only one that wasn't was 27.64 you know let's do standard deviation 
Uh, insert new formula. Uh, I don't know about that. Standard deviation. All right. Standard deviation of this. Shift and let's see. All right, hold on. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, my formula is messy. Let's uh, I I don't know what I'm doing with uh, oh, what's it called? A Mac, guys. You gotta understand, I'm a. I was a PC guy. Okay. The standard deviation is 0.128. So the packs with a higher than 0.128 are guaranteed to have a foil. Look, 0 0.239, 0 0.149. This one was questionable. The 64 are 0 0.089, 0 0.429, and 0.269. There you go. Uh, a little bit more than that car and I bought it a while ago. So something like that. Um, all right guys. So this is my demonstration as to why you shouldn't be buying loose packs from eBay or from anywhere else out there because these are weighable. I don't know how many times to say it to you guys. So I hope you learned something today. I'm going to end the video here. I'll be live for a few more minutes afterwards. So stick around live people. But uh, if you're watching this video and you liked it, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, check out my Patreon for box breaks like this, channel memberships. We got that below. You're going to buy any cards today, remember the TCG Player affiliate link in the description below. You click on it, shop like normal. It helps out a lot. Or use the QR code that I had on screen. Uh, it'll take you right to the website. You shop like normal, and it helps the channel. Otherwise, I'll catch you all soon. Peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. Now, what are we gonna do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?